Hey gang, I just want to talk to you for a little bit and today I'm going to talk about this deck right here. It's the deck that I brought with me on my travels. The Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa Stel S-T-E-R-E-L Sterly. I don't know. I spelled it. You can figure out how to pronounce it yourself. Um, and here is the bottom box art right here. Uh, focus. Eh, we'll work on that later. Um, this is a woman-oriented deck. Um, no nudity or no full frontal nudity. Um, I usually like my decks a lot less shy. Um, but it's it's cards like this that are like, yeah. I see this in the store and I'm like, definitely my deck. Hell yeah. Um, and I know the focus isn't really happening, but if you would like to see this deck, um, the deck image is a lot better. Uh, do feel free to look this deck up to see the art better. Um, cards like this. But it's no secret, what really sold me this deck has to be the goddamn Ten of Swords. Check this shit out. So, I had my tarot read last year. And uh, the Six of Swords came up in a romance reading for me because I'm not looking for romance and I really know that. I just wanted to test the deck to see if it's like, all right, are you legit? Because I have that one question that I know the answer to. And if the deck like goes ahead and calls it, we know what we're talking about. You're, you're my trusted, you're not my trusted audience. You're my trusted reader. You're, you're, you're not giving me any bullshit. But... For that deck, the Ten of Swords was a bison that was stabbed with ten swords. Um, that was looking up, but the artwork was very grim. And it's like, because the lights are on, the headlights are on, it's like a card that represents a mockery or a melodrama. And I'm like, that looks pretty fucking grim. That still looks like a bison that's been stabbed ten times. And like, even in the Raider Wade deck... Which is revered as the original deck when we know that that's not what that is. It's a guy on the ground who's been stabbed ten times with blood coming out. Uh, usually, in, in usual interpretations, I've, I, um, as I recall it. And I was like, somebody lying on the ground who has been stabbed ten times represents more betrayal than melodrama. But this... This right here brings the shit home. Like, you are so stabbed on the phone, sis. Like, this this says melodrama. This says I brought it on myself. This is the Ten of Swords for me for now and forever. Um, and everybody has their card that means something to them. Uh, for you, it might not be the Ten of Swords. Maybe for you, it's the King of Cups. Or maybe the Queen of Wands. Our Villalago Queen in this deck. Uh, and this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just wanted to show off this deck. Um, I think I made a video about this before, but... Um, I wanted to just do another tarot video because it I don't do these very often. Um but yeah. LA. But yeah. Um I also like watching deck videos. So like I just want to like circle interests back around to me, fix up my algorithm and stuff. And the best way to fix up your algorithm is to kind of content that the person posts so since i do make content i'm circling things back into my realm but yeah i just wanted to show that off um if you have a favorite card art from a favorite deck please post in the comments i will look it up and giggle with you take care of yourselves and each other and make racists and rapists afraid again i'll see y'all later happy new year